the winds of change. The winds of change. April last year, I made a video. April 2011, I made, a, I made the original red sweater video. And I walked down here to make a point. I'm right here in front of York College. Right in front of York College. Right down the street is 40 projects. How come this place is full of, listen to the panel, of corruption and conspiracy? How come there are more kids from Asia and Asia Minor in here than black kids that live right down the street? Well, why is it that down there is notorious for drugs and prostitution and baby mamas and bastard baby kids than over here? Just because we got the same skin color don't mean we're the same either, man. We value education. And it's my job to proliferate my race. And a lot of Haitians you speak to, you've been speaking to my servants. If you weren't from the right family, you weren't from the aristocracy, you couldn't show the means to get out of Haiti, to come emigrate to the United States of America and immigrate right here. I used to go to school right there. That's the science building. I took accounting there. No, it's science building behind it. That's the other building. And then they built this. Lord have mercy. I looked at the African Americans on that panel. I don't care how big they were. We're not in the same class. We're not in the same league, man. And you guys got your money, your little cars, your little weave wearing heifers. A little bit too much for me, man. You know, I got bad attitudes. Because they're poor. And you know why? Because somebody poor taught them to be poor. Nobody taught me to be poor. I don't know what that is. I can't even live. Why do you think I want to get out to the United States? Because I can do better somewhere else with what I got than no matter how hard I try right here in America. Because I don't want to be amongst all these African Americans. And I ain't joking. I don't care what class they're in. Who's your Negro? I don't need the pretense. I don't need the phoniness. And I don't need the whole environment around it. No matter how genuine you may be. Because I'm no longer comfortable staying here for life. I don't mind visiting. I ain't got nothing against America. I play a character, the black slaver. It's been working for me because I harvested the behinds of every elected official in town to make New York City crash around the ankles of Michael R. Bloomberg for having taken so much from me in his slum cleansing operation and using them bougie Negroes of Tino Hernandez, Ricardo Elias Morales, and John B. Rhea to railroad Negro and them black elected officials down here, these nappy headed Negroes, couldn't do, they couldn't do jack about them light-skinned niggas. <laughs> I didn't use profanity. Mayor Bloomberg misused affirmative action in slum cleansing operation and I'm about to prove it. That's the end of my personal log for this uh, series. This is number one. I love you. If I didn't, I wouldn't work so hard for you. For free. Bye-bye.